Hey guys, Victor Garcia here, your CS tutor, and today we're talking about string methods. Now, I talked about strings before, and that's where you learned about string concatenation and what strings are in Java. But today we're going to learn how to manipulate strings using their methods. So, let's dive in. Now, one important thing you want to know about strings is that they're also numbered. And that's how you access different characters in the string. Uh, the way Java does this is kind of weird, something that... Uh, you know, you wouldn't really expect, but it always starts at zero. So the first character is always zero. And you could think of uh, the numbering as how far away you are from the beginning of the string. So the first character is zero uh, indexes away from the first character. The second character is one index away from, or one beat away from the first character. So if you keep doing that, we will find out that our S is the sixth index, six beads away from our first uh, character. Now this numbering scheme is very important once we get into string methods, which I'll get into right now. Okay, here we are at the code editor. I have my string uh, or brace it Ula Mundo, and we also indexed it uh, according to our numbering scheme. And here I have a bunch of methods and the, met the way I'm using methods here is I'm using uh, instance methods, which are different from the methods I talked previously in our my methods video, which were static methods. Those I just used uh, without any object. But here, uh, the way I, I use these methods is I'm using object dot the method uh, because these are methods uh, pertaining to that object. So uh, just to clarify that. And then... We're starting off with our first method, char at, which gives us the character at the index. And these are the indexes. So if I were to give it uh, index 0, it would give me the character capital H. If I do 3, it will give me A. So that's uh, our first output for that one. So let's do expected output here. Expected. And then we're going to match this up with the real code that it gives us later on. So let's do expected. And our first uh, output would be h. Next, length. So this is different from how you would think uh, uh, Java would actually do length. Because you would assume that, okay, the length of my string will be 9 according to our numbering scheme. But the way Java uh, works is that it actually counts the number of characters instead of starting from 0. So the length will give me 10 instead of 9. So just remember that. Uh, keep that in mind for when you're using length because uh, it's different from how index works. So for length, this would, should be 10. And then for substring, it's exactly what it sounds. It's just a substring of your original string. And the parameters that I give it would be the beginning index. And if you just give it the beginning index, it would go from, let's say if I put 5, it would go from 5 all the way to the end of the string, which would be mundo. However, if I give it a beginning index and an end index, it will go from the, that first parameter all the way to the last, or the second parameter. So if I give it 0 and 5, it will give me go from 0 all the way to 5, which would be hola. And then also a white space. Uh, so our outputs here would be mundo and hola. Now for uh, lowercase and uppercase, uh, they do exactly what they sound like. If you do uh, dot to lowercase, it turns all the characters in that string uh, to their lowercase versions. And if you do to uppercase, it turns them all to their uppercase versions. So this would be hola mundo, all lowercase. And our second output would be hola mundo, which is mundo, which is all uppercase. And then second to last uh, is index of, which you could think of it as the exact opposite of char at, which can get confusing at times. Just know index of. You want to give it a character, and it will give you the index at that character. And there's two versions of this, uh, because let's say you have two characters of the same uh, 
the same type. So I have, I have two zeros or two O's here. Which one will it give me? It will give you the first occurrence of that character. So if I give it just O, it'll give me one. However, there's a second version of this where you could give it a starting point. So let's say I give it a starting point of six. It will only search from that index or that bead onwards. So if I give it six and an O, it will give me the O here instead of the O here. So our expected output for that one would be one because it's the first occurrence and then nine because it's the first occurrence after uh, the index six. And then finally, the equals uh, method. We use this instead of the equals equals operator uh, because Java doesn't really compare strings the, uh, the way uh, they compare numbers. So you have to use the dot equals. And I have uh, Ola Mundo compared with supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And those are completely different words, so that should give us a false. And let's check if this uh, expected output matches a real world output. And this is exactly the same as what we got. So I hope you learned how to manipulate strings and use them with methods as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.